All right, I've got this nasty cord, and I'm sure there's lots of people that know how to do this, but um, I figured I'd make a little video. So I'm not an electrician at all. Um, I don't think you need to be in order to do this. So I'm gonna change this out because it's nasty looking, and I'm gonna replace it with this one. So this is just a uh, little grounded three prong, you know, one 10 volt thing I got at the uh, hardware store. So the first thing is I'm gonna disconnect this one. So there's screws here that you can disconnect and there's screws here that you can stuff. not disconnect, loosen. And these are the clamps that are gonna hold this whole thing tightly on the, at the end there. So loosen those up. These guys are going to actually take the wire area out. Now, when you undo these, these are actually on a really coarse thread. So one, one revolution does a lot. Okay. So you can see right there, that's it. Now, this does have a ground. However, I'm not going to use the ground because I don't have a ground on this wire. This is only a um, two line wire there. So first things first, I can take my uh, screwdriver and just disconnect that wire. Disconnect that wire. So that whole thing comes undone. And you can see, so when you take this, you strip it, put it up through the hole, and then you start wiring these guys where they need to go. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, now I'm going to bypass the uh, ground. And I'm going to plug it right into the other leg there. So now, no ground. Okay, try this. Tell you, it's hard to get that guy in there. That is really There it is. Okay, so don't connect anything to the ground wire. Just uh, connect it to the hot and common posts. And this guy here, I'll keep it for, you never know, might be something down the road that I'll want to use this for, but generally speaking, I don't want to put this on a nice, you know, expensive festool item to me it's just kind of 
travesty to see that. I actually don't even like using this cord because it looks so bad, but it's been cut. The cord's got, you know, what looks like cuts everywhere. But oh well. At least that looks nice and it works well. So that was pretty simple to do. However, uh, with only the um, two wires and not the ground wire, I feel like it would be nice to have that ground in there. But this is the way it was. So the factory ones only come with uh, two, no ground. So that's it. All right. Thanks.